Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at installing extensions. So we make videos on this pretty regularly, and uh, it's been a little while since we've covered this. It's not a difficult process. It's actually fairly automated at this point. It used to be a lot of work to go through and properly put files in places, but right now it's kind of a button click or two. But we're gonna run through the whole process beginning to finish, and our our focus here is going to be installing extensions from Extension Warehouse. Maybe we'll do, if you guys let us know that we want to look at installing extensions from other places, if I hear that in the comments, then I'll make that video too. But right now, we're just going to focus on Extension Warehouse, getting files downloaded and installed in the SketchUp. Let's go. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll go grab a file off of Extension Warehouse. I'm going to just click the Extension Warehouse button, and I'm going to grab a simple one that I know I love using, TrueBend. I'm gonna hit true bend. This is an extension from TomTom, Tom, a simple, compact, little, easy to install extension. So something to note when you come into these pages in Extension Warehouse, the buttons over here uh, are gonna change depending on the type of extension. So some extensions, they're paid extensions, you're gonna have to go through the process of purchasing. If these are what it's called listing pages, then that makes the process different. In a listing page, you're looking at uh, something here that is basically somebody telling you that they have an extension that they sell themselves on a separate website in a separate place. If that's true, then you'll have a button here to go visit that page and then you purchase whatever the file is through that page. In the event that you buy it or it's a free extension through Extension Warehouse, you'll have sooner or later this install button. So if I click on the install button, which is did click, it's gonna pop up and say, okay, we're gonna install this and, and we have this normal thing that says, okay, this does let you know that you're installing a thing that's gonna do stuff to your system, to your computer. <laughs> that's right, when you install software, it has the ability to run as software on your computer. Do you wanna continue? Yes, I do. All right, so what that's gonna do is install your extension. Okay, okay. So when we leave here now, and I come into, there's two extension warehouse buttons on the default toolbar. There is the extension warehouse, and then there is also this extension manager. If I click on extension manager and scroll down to T where TrueBench should be, I see I don't have it here. A good portion of extensions will require a reboot to sh properly show up. Sometimes they don't show up here. Sometimes they'll show up and you'll get a toolbar, but it won't function right. So what I try to make sure I do is anytime I install an extension is go to SketchUp, quit SketchUp, and then reopen it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, now that we've restarted SketchUp, if I go again up to Extension Manager, scroll down, as expected, here is TrueBend, it's there. So. If I go through the extension warehouse icon, I can automatically install those extensions. What happens though if I'm running through, you know, just my browser and I download an extension want to install? Let's look at that. Before we do that though, let's see what if I want to get rid of this? What if I don't want to if I want to uninstall TrueBend? Well, I don't actually have that ability here. What I have to do is I have to go up to the tabs up at the top. There are tabs up here. Home is going to show me which ones are here, which ones are enabled, which are not and I can go to manage, and if I go to manage, I actually have an uninstall button. See the update button here and the uninstall button. So if there's a new version, if it detects a new version, it'll give you the update button. See right now they're all grayed out because they're all up to date. But if I want to get rid of it, I go to TrueBend, uninstall. Yes, I want to uninstall TrueBend, and now it is gone, okay? So it has now left the building. So we don't have TrueBend installed anymore. Again, like I was saying with installing, Sometimes remnants can be left over. We'll have something, uh, an extension or something will, will still show up here or in tools or I'll have a toolbar. I would recommend after uninstalling to reboot also. Let's do that real quick too. All right, and we're back. Um, now there is absolutely no true bend on this computer anymore. It's gone, files are gone, everything's gone. So let's say hypothetically for whatever reason, I'm browsing in my my uh, browser and I would come across the extension I want here. Let's check it out. All right, so rather than the install button, I now have a download. Because I'm in my browser and not in the software, I can't tell it to install. I can't install directly from the browser. So I'm gonna click download. 
and that is going to download it and it's going to tell me, okay, you downloaded it. So if I go pull up, I'm going to go ahead and get this window out of here and I'm going to look at my downloads folder. In my downloads folder, I have this TT Truebend 1.2.1 RBZ. RBZ is a Ruby zip file. It's really just a compressed file, but it's the file that installs extensions. So this is in my downloads folder right now. So now if I come up here again, I'm gonna to go to my extension manager and I'm gonna hit install extension. So when I hit install extension, I'm gonna to go to my downloads and there's my RBZ file. I'm gonna pick on it. I'm gonna say open. It's gonna do its magical installation process. Oh, and look at that, there it is, Truebend. It's already installed again. This is the same process you'd go through if you were downloading from some other location. If you get a file off of Sketchucation Store, or Smustard or something like that, uh, we didn't go through the process of getting it, but you would download it and you would run install extension and it would be installed. Um, once that's there, again, just to make sure, you may wanna do a reboot or, or a restart of SketchUp. A lot of times they're fine, extensions install, and you can just start running them right away. But there's more than enough cases that I've been through where a extension doesn't quite work perfect until you restart that I generally will do that. Restart just to be safe and uh, make it, you know, make sure that it's gonna work. But there you go, that's it. That's all there is to installing extensions. It is a very easy process. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's all you need to get your extensions installed. So I realized I did kind of skip forward and not talk about what extensions actually are. Um, extensions are, of course, pieces of software, additional tools that you can add on top of SketchUp. Uh, the Extension Warehouse is a great place to find all kinds of extensions. I don't remember how many hundreds of extensions are up there, but they're all there. They're available to you. Some are purchased, like I said, some are free. <clears throat> some of them are listing pages for the third parties, but uh, everything on Extension Warehouse has at least been vetted and you know that it's not going to cause a conflict with any other extensions, that sort of thing. So a uh, good, good place to get extensions and, uh, you know, a place that we would recommend starting if you're just getting into extensions. There are other places out there um, that have extensions as well, but that's the spot that's official from the Trimble team. So if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. Did I miss something? Is anything unclear with installing extensions? Or other than that, is there a different process you would like to see? Something uh, related to extensions, a specific extension, or is there a workflow you think we should spend time on? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they show something you want to see. Thank you.